Yo, what's up guys? Alright, I'm back. I'm here to tell you guys about uh, some crazy shit that happened today. Like, super crazy shit. Um, I've had a really crazy day in general, a really rough day. And uh, I'm here to tell you guys about it. So, um, basically, I woke up around 7.45 this morning. Uh, throwing up because I, I am still uh, a little bit sick so I, I threw up the stuff that I ate for dinner the night before um, so I spent about an hour cleaning the bed and all that stuff uh, and by the time I was done doing all that um, it was about the time that I normally get up anyway uh, so then I proceeded to do my normal things that I do, which is get up, go take care of the dogs, let all the dogs out, uh, clean the dog cage that we have inside, um, feed the dogs breakfast, make sure they have water, all that good stuff. Um... And then after that, I proceeded to, yeah, you know, I, I spent a good amount of time doing that. Then I came back here in, in the studio here to uh, record a video for, for this weekend that's going up Sunday, I believe. So I recorded that, I edited it, I uploaded it, and all that stuff. Then, after that, I went back out to go let the dogs run around for a bit and check on the dogs, uh, give them more water, because they tend to knock over the water bowls and all that. Um, then I went to go cook dinner, prepare dinner, so that it'll be ready by the time my father gets home. Um, so I started working on dinner. Then I came back... And I went and live-streamed the finale of Sonic Adventure, which uh, I know Storm wanted me to do the bonus stages. I will do that in another video, just to let you know. Um, but as far as the story goes, it's done, wrapped up in a nice little bow. Link in the description if you missed that live-stream. Um, so I finished that live stream up, <coughs> and after I finished that live stream, um, I went and settled the dogs, you know, brought everybody back inside, put the puppies in the outdoor cage that I made for them, uh, changed out their water again so that they had fresh water, uh, fed them lunch, um, and then after I did that, my mom pulled up, which I wasn't expecting because she doesn't spend a whole lot of time here nowadays. Um, ever since the incident with my grandfather, she's been staying over at my grandfather's house, uh, dealing with him and all that. He's doing fine, by the way. He's, yeah, he, he's doing great. Um, so she pulled up unexpectedly. And at that point, you know, I was really tired, and I, I told her, I said, look, I, I've been pretty much at it since 7.45 this morning, you know, just one thing after another. I haven't even taken a bath yet, so I'm like, I, I'm going to go take a bath if you can just watch the dogs and all that stuff. And she's like, okay, cool. Um, so I go, I run the bath water, I, I lay down in the bath, um, and I'm in the bath for like two minutes. All of a sudden I hear screaming. Um, so naturally I rush out the bath, uh, I'm butt naked. I rush out the bath, I, I run outside because uh, I'm thinking, oh God, one of the dogs got bit by a snake or something like that, you know? So I'm like, okay, I, I better rush on out there. So I, I, I rush on outside, and um, there was a fire, a, a, a really big fire. <laughs> so and, and my mom's out there with the garden hose trying to put it out. And, you know, at, at this point, you know, 
you're not putting it out with the garden hose. So um, I called the local fire department, you know, and I called them and I told them what's going on. And they said, OK, call 911. And then they hung up. So I'm like, OK, let me call 911. So then I called 911 and the operators like why didn't you call the fire department? And I'm like, I did call the fire department and they told me to call you. And then she's like, okay, well, I'm going to patch you through to another fire department. Um, so she patches me through to the next nearest fire department um, who then come out and they take care of the fire and all that. Um, but it was like this big hassle. Yeah, it's like... I, I don't know. It was stupid. But anyway, um, so the, the footage that I'm about to show you guys is uh, the aftermath of the fire after it was put out. Um, I do want to say nobody was injured. Um, none of, like, my buildings or anything like that got burned. None of my prop, like, possessions got burned. It, it was pretty much just the property itself. Um, <coughs> so the, the following footage here, if I can pull it up. There we go. The following footage is uh, is the, the aftermath of the fire. So you can see the ground's all scorched. You can see most of the brush is all burned. We have a door frame here, which I didn't even know was there. Uh, it must have, you know, been there from the flood that's all burned. All this is burned. Yeah, you can just see just scorched earth everywhere. That would be a cool name for a band, Scorched Earth. If I ever make a band, I think that might be the name of it. But anyway, you can see just all this just burned everywhere this tree hold on i just want to pause real quick this tree actually fell during the fire um and, and it was a dead tree that had been sitting there for a while and uh it fell during the fire so you can see there it's all scorched up um so i, I step over that and you can see there's it's still burned. It's just burned everywhere. Um, and I think there's one point where, yeah, up here, I believe in the footage, I found a, a spot that still had smoke. So if you watch here, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. There's still smoke there. Um from where they just had put it out but just look at all that look at all that damage man um again no one was hurt luckily uh but it was just some crazy shit so that's all the stuff i've been dealing with for today um i do plan to live stream later but it's gonna be a bit delayed because of all this but uh yeah thank all you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time Goodbye, guys.